Welcome to our channel. If you haven't done it already, please subscribe. DC Super Friends, The Fortress of Solitude. Welcome, Superman said to his friends outside his Fortress of Solitude. The Man of Steel had invited Batman, Robin, Batgirl, Wonder Woman, Cyborg, and Green Lantern to visit him in his Arctic base. We can't wait to see your home, said Wonder Woman. Superman flew to the giant golden key nearby. First, I'd better open the door, he replied. The super friends saw a giant statue of Superman's parents in the entrance hall. Jor-El and Lara had sent Superman to Earth from Krypton, his home planet. Superman then took his friends to the trophy room. Superman kept awards and keepsakes from his greatest adventures there. The bottle city of Kandor, exclaimed Robin. He peered at the tiny people living on the shrunken chunk of Krypton. Batman and Wonder Woman checked out Superman's wall of allies and enemies. I like my picture, said Batman. Superman led his friends into another chamber. This is the game room, he said. I play chess with my robots or practice martial arts in the video game simulator. Wow, said Robin to Batgirl. Let's test our fighting skills. Superman showed them where he kept spaceships and emergency vehicles. Then he took them to the armory. Here is where I store alien gizmos that I find on missions, he said. A zoo, said Batgirl as they continued the tour. She ran over to greet the animals in their pens. They're alien creatures I discovered on my travels, Superman told Batgirl. What's in this room, asked Batgirl. It was decorated with souvenirs from Superman's adventures with his friend Batman. Good statue, Batman said with a laugh. Superman let the super friends peek into a bedroom for Clark Kent. He kept the fake space to fool enemies. Sometimes I hang out in there, said Superman. It's cozy. On the second level was the crime laboratory. High-tech gadgets detected crimes and analyzed clues. Nearby was a vault of kryptonite Superman stored for safekeeping. The super friends moved on to the communication center. Monitors flashed the latest reports from all across the globe and the surrounding galaxies. Alert sirens suddenly shrieked. An attack needed Superman's attention. Someone launched ultra drones, Superman reported. Four unmanned spy aircraft. Where are they heading? asked Batman. Paradise Island, Gotham City, and Metropolis, Superman replied, and the new science base on the moon. Batgirl and Robin rushed to Gotham City. Cyborg soared to Metropolis, and Wonder Woman raced to Paradise Island. Green Lantern zoomed to the moon. Batman and Superman stayed behind to figure out which villain launched the Ultra Drones. Wonder Woman flew her invisible jet all the way to Paradise Island. When she arrived, she saw that her sister Amazons were ready to defend their home. Wonder Woman swooped her invisible jet down toward the flying robot. Whooshing by the Ultra Drone, she knocked it off course. Then she opened the door and leaned outside. Wonder Woman snagged the Ultra Drone's nose with her lasso of truth. With a sharp yank, she spun the Ultra Drone toward an empty island. It crashed on the barren rocks. Meanwhile, Batgirl and Robin arrived in Gotham City. They chased the Ultra Drone, riding together on Batgirl's Batcycle across the city's monorail tracks. Get us as close as you can, shouted Robin. Above it! Stop here, Robin shouted. Batgirl skidded to a halt. Robin leaped off the Batcycle. He jumped into the air and landed on the Ultra Drone. Robin pried open a panel on the Ultra Drone. He yanked out wires. The Ultra Drone sputtered before heading up toward the sun. Robin leaped back to the safety of a skyscraper ledge. Good work, shouted Batgirl. Cyborg patrolled the air around the Daily Planet building. He spotted the Ultra Drone and fired his sonic cannon at it. It moved too fast. He missed. I'll just have to catch it, said Cyborg. 
he sped up to grab the Ultra Drone before it reached the Daily Planet building's globe. Cyborg cruised alongside the Ultra Drone. Then he smashed it with a powerful punch. Above the new science base on the moon, Green Lantern caught up to the last Ultra Drone. I want extra credit for chasing it into space, joked Green Lantern. Green Lantern caught the Ultra Drone in a force field from his power ring. That was easy, said Green Lantern. Almost too easy. Green Lantern dragged the Ultra Drone back to the Fortress of Solitude. I brought an Ultra Drone back for your trophy room, Green Lantern told Superman. Batman had tracked the source of the Ultra Drones. I traced them back to LexCorp, he explained. Lex Luthor controlled the robot planes. The captured one can go in the Lex Luthor room, said Wonder Woman. Batman inspected the Ultra Drone and found a hidden sensor. Luthor wanted you to capture it so he can see inside your fortress. Batman smashed the sensor into smithereens. Superman placed the Ultra Drone into a case in his Lex Luthor room. After we celebrate, he said, I'm taking Lex on a trip to jail. Thank you for watching our videos. If you haven't done it already, please subscribe. Here are some videos we thought you might like.